ko ba ang mga buwan? At ito ba naman ang pagagod? I mean, that's why I told the ground to get it. Don't get it! Here comes Daniel Griffith, who uh, dominated the action in round one. He's in the black trunk. Louis Rodriguez in white. Always calls the referee. Always calls the good boxing equipment. Griffith may have uh, a little better in the combination. Rodriguez is a very good body fighter and a good head hunter. Griffith has a sharp jab. He told his wife, he said, Griffith, who wants to fight? Let's listen to it. Well, I'll be trying out, so he's really backing up. I'll let him jab. As soon as he just made his way into a corner against the rest, let go of him in motion. And he really grabs and starts to fight inside, and when he gets a snap and body pushes, and then you see the hook out, or he's a lad who's coming out the other way. I think that would be the pattern of the entire fight. In Rodriguez's corner, it's Angelo Dundee. Here's what he said earlier. The only kind of advice that I'm giving you would be how to come right along. You need to be in each and every way. And you need to wear a lot of gloves. And you need to dominate the fight. I say this will be enough to win the fight. Thank you, Joe Clancy. Thank you, Angelo Dundee. We're coming up to round three. Uh, Dr. Harold Oshaw of the commission took a closer look at Rodriguez's eye during the round of the intermission. Thought it was all right. Griffith will probably try to spare that guy's eye. Just being round off, Rodriguez may be spared on now to try to help out, realizing that he's vulnerable. Very close to referee. Right side of the pain in the middle 
During the intermission, referee has Harry Cross put one point away from Rodriguez for low blows. So if you're scoring, take that point away from Lee. Rodriguez, the white son, stiffer than Bell. Round four, scheduled for 15.